Tonight on Hitched or Ditched, North Carolina couple Travis and Salisa have been dating for four years. She's my soulmate. I knew that I loved him right away. But they've yet to tie the knot. We've broken up several times. My friends think that I'm crazy for putting up with Salisa. Now they have one week to make the decision of a lifetime in a fully paid for surprise wedding. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm not sure right now. What do you mean you're not sure? I have some doubt. I have a lot of questions. The emotions are running high. You know what? I could take my shirt off. If she's not happy with this, then she shouldn't marry me. As they decide whether or not to spend the rest of their lives together. It's not you I'm worried about. It's him I'm worried about. As husband and wife. I think you should say no. Or will they break up forever? I worry for Travis because of Salisa's mood swings. She can be the meanest, rudest person you'll ever meet. I truly love him, and I can't imagine being without him. But I can't imagine keep going through this for much longer. Everybody else thinks it's wrong. So how could it be right? We're meant to be together, or she's going to go her way, and I'm going to go my way. One relationship put to the ultimate test. I don't think you've got a snowball's chance in hell. I think you would be better with somebody else. Not one person we know is on our side. This is our mistake to make. We love each other. Love is not enough. A lot of doubts going through my head. I'll never get him back to the altar if I say no today. Everybody can't be wrong. Oh, boy. Will they be hitched or ditched? Hey, let's do this. I love Salisa because she's very caring, she's giving. I want her to be my soulmate. is amazing. I feel like he truly completes me, but I don't want to make the biggest mistake of our life. Maybe we're not ready to get married. Maybe Salisa isn't the right one for me. A week ago, Travis and I we're presented with a fairy tale wedding. Here we are today at the altar, and I'm not sure what he's gonna say, and I don't think he knows what I'm gonna say either. This is the biggest decision I've ever had to make in my entire life. I'm freaking out. Do you understand the magnitude of what could or could not happen in the next few moments? McQueen. And this week, we're in Charlotte, North Carolina. Right now, we're on our way to the home of Travis and Salisa, who are about to receive the surprise of a lifetime. We are about to plan a wedding for them in just one week. Meet Ashley. She's Salisa's best friend. Why do you think it's time for them to either get married or break up? They've been together for four years now. She set ultimatums. They've had engagements, broken up. If it doesn't happen now, it's never going to happen. The past four years, Travis has been had anxiety about being with someone and committing to them. And I think that all of this is a big push that he has needed. I truly hope that they make the right decision and say yes. Hello. Hi. Mind if we come in? Somebody knocked on the door, and my friend Ashley was standing there. I was very confused, but excited to find out why they were there. Guys, <laughs> we have a little surprise for you. <laughs> Ashley wanted me to give this to you. Okay. It says, um, with great joy, we request the pleasure of your company at the wedding of Salisa Dawn Orshaw <laughs> and Travis Wendell Foster one week from today. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. This is a wedding that we're throwing for you, your fairy tale wedding, everything, Salisa, that you have wanted and dreamt about for four years. This is amazing. I'm going to get everything that I want and I don't have to do any of the hard work. <laughs> Travis, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm not sure right now. What do you mean you're not sure, stupid? <laughs> I met Salisa at a restaurant. My friend, he always thought he was a ladies' man, so he's like, yeah, I bet you can't get our waitress's number. Here, 
<laughs> he leaves his phone number on a napkin, and I called him. And she says, click. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> he answered the phone. I was so nervous. So, Aww. We go to breakfast, and um, I fell in love in two minutes. That's nice. Travis and I have been together for four years, and we <laughs> definitely bicker. That hurt me. <laughs> I almost got her figured out, but it's it's definitely a challenge figuring her out because she's so. He said I'm complicated. I was like, why would you want to be with me? He's like, I like it. I was I, like, you know, wow. it's a challenge. It really is. <laughs> You're not mad, are you? No, I'm just gonna kick your ass later. Okay, I promise. Yeah. I like her personality. She's full of energy. And she is the funniest person I know. Come on, baby! <laughs> she's very caring. She's giving. We compliment each other, I think. Oh, little man. I love you. I want to be with Felisa every day, all day long. Can't get enough. She's my best friend. I want to be with her. I want to spend all my time with her. Everything that I do, I want to involve Salisa. He's every woman's catch. He's like the manliest man I know. He builds houses. He'll make me breakfast. He's a hard, hard, hard worker. He's attractive <laughs> in every way. And that is super sexy to me. <laughs> I've realized now that we we can't live without each other. We're, you know, we break up and then we get back together. And, and when we're apart, I, I want to be around her all the time. Even though she makes me mad a lot and, and we bicker and we fight, at the end of the day, I still love her and miss her and, and uh, don't want to be away from her too long. Aww, so sweet. I don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's been four years and you haven't done it yet. <laughs> What's sort of holding you back? Um. Travis? That's, that's yes, it's, good, it is up. It's, it's he, he has to answer fault. that question because, yes, I would have done it months or years ago. I assumed that we would be married and have a child by now. My clock is just ticking, 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 ticking. I can't imagine going through this for much longer. I just think he's afraid. I don't know why he's afraid, other than the fact that I have always just assumed he has commitment issues. I just never have been sure why. I want to make sure that everything is right. I want to make sure that you, I'm number one in your book. All I need is her reassurance. Oh, that's, I'm that's sure. And in order for me to reassure him, I'm, I'm not allowed to go no. out of the house. It's I'm not, not allowed that. to go to bars. Sounds like there's some jealousy here. No, it's here. so annoying. He is jealous, and I cannot stand it. I heard a voicemail on her phone. You're somewhere. crazy. Don't bring that up. The we, thing we, with the phone call is super freaking annoying. Travis and I were broke up for a month. Um, I don't even know who the voicemail was from, but it was from a guy. And Travis hears this guy's voice on there, and he no. always brings it up because that's his best excuse for not wanting no, to get married. It? I think a lot of people are against Lisa and Travis getting married because they see how bad they clash and the problems in the relationship. Obviously, there has to be something good there for them to stay with each other 